after that you just need to run this command x hyphen hyphen win hyphen s and it would start your kali system so you could see it here all live and running at etc os release and here it is hi everyone welcome back to our channel this is asim here so in this short series we are going to set up our recon server locally because i have come to know that a lot of people can't afford vps and they are comfortable with using windows so like this is the perfect match for having you on like your own recon server and that too on maybe kali linux on your windows itself so yeah so for whatever reason if you haven't switched to linux yet you could have a flavor of that on your windows itself so let's start with this so there's a thing called windows subsystem for linux also known as wsl so that allows to run linux natively on your windows so like in this video so they, we would be setting up that on your on our machine and like we would be installing kali linux on the machine so after like towards the end of the video you would be having a gui for kali itself and you would be able to use kali on your windows itself in the second part we are going to set up the machine and the whatever like tools are that are required for the recon on that particular kali instance inside your windows so without further ado let's start with this so here this is the page where how you have to install that there's the installation guide i will be adding the link in the description as well so let's see so the, there's this installation step so the first thing that you have to do is you need to copy this command and you need to run powershell as administrator so type powershell in the start button and like run as administrator allow this so after you have copied this you just need to press right click on this and it would automatically get pasted here i already did this yesterday so probably there shouldn't be any new thing here otherwise it takes like around like 5 to 10 minutes it takes to enable this particular feature so let's wait while it's installing let's come back to this so the second step is you need to update to wsl2 so for this if you are running windows 10 uh, you should check whether your build is like build is 18362 or higher so that's the build number and the version is 1903 if you have a 64 bit machine which you would probably be having so the easiest version to check is press the windows and r button and then type winvar win windows var so version so winvar and then press enter so you could see version 2004 os build 1904.572 so it lies here version 2004 or higher with build 1904 or higher so the build is already you could see 1904.572 okay so it's valid so we can update to wsl2 now there's come the third step here you before installing wsl2 you must enable the virtual machine platform so again just copy this command and in in like the administrator console of powershell you just need to press this right click and press enter so it would like enable that particular feature this virtual machine platform feature earlier we enabled microsoft windows subsystem for linux so we enabled this feature now we enable this enabling this feature after this you need to do a restart so let's come back after that so here we are after restarting it's all installed now just we need to download this linux kernel update package and install it so if you have an r64 machine which is highly unlikely then you could go with this package otherwise you just need to click on this download link uh, run the update package download in previous step you will be prompted for elevated permissions here and after that there's just one last step where you have to like set the default version of wsl so let's wait for this to download so you could see now it's downloaded let's install this so if you haven't restarted in the previous step it would not get installed and it might show some error now let's come back to this again open this powershell and you just need to like paste this command here that's already mentioned here so now wsl is the default version is a version 2 now let's go on with installing any linux distribution let's go for kali linux cuz that's the thing that hackers use so yeah it would have all of the tools so why not go for that 
you could go with any of them like any of the system images ubuntu or open source anyone that doesn't matter because the recon process of the recon tool would eventually install all the tools so it's fine for any like if you go with any of these so just we need to get this here from microsoft store Let's wait for a while. That come back after it's downloaded. So now you could see Kali has been installed. You just need to run on la launch, and it would take some time to set up. So now you have to enter a username. I would write hacking simplified here, and whatever password you want. So you could add here. Yep. Now we are up and running. So. We are we are done with this step. Now let's set up a few things so that we have a like easy to use interface. So this is the Windows terminal thing. So it's an optional thing. If you want, you could install it as well. But we want the GUI so that we could interact with easily. So this is the WinKex, and this allows us to like have a GUI interaction with the like WSL Kali. So the initial steps are the same for the installation part. So here we are going to see the WinKex part. So here are the install instructions. So what you have to do is you have to do sudo apt update. Just copy this command and paste it in Kali shell. So this is the Kali shell. So like if you could do that, cat etc os release immediately the Kali Linux. Yeah. You need to enter the password because you are running as sudo. With great power comes great responsibility, and that's what. mentioned here as well so for some reason my screen recorder wasn't working and like i have already updated the kali system now i just need to press this x hyphen hyphen when hyphen s like we had already run this command sudo apt update and uh, apt install winkex so after that you just need to run this command x hyphen hyphen when hyphen s and it would start your kali system so you could see it here all live and running cat etc os release and here it is so it was not this smooth i am going to show you what were the problems there so but there were some issues with dbus launch and if you are facing the same issues here so what you need to do is you need to run this particular command you could see this here sudo apt get install dbus x11 and then you need to start sudo service dbus start after you have done both of these close your kali app and then restart that and then that winkex should work fine if, you, if i show you the history of this you could see uh, apt on the 14th number you could see apt install dbus x11 then there's sudo service dbus start so another issue you might face is that if you just close this window here so beside the process id you might find there's this thing called stale return so to avoid that always do this kex stop so it would stop that gui server thing also even if you get that so what you could do is vlc server hyphen kill then colon and then this display id so like it would be one for now so that would kill that stale id so that's all for this video I will try to wrap up in the second part where we would be installing all the tools on this particular Kali app, and you would be good to go. Have a local recon server. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this session.